All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the new Shepherd mod, which is being made by form user Matthew G. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is all the parts necessary to build your very own new Shepherd rocket, which, of course, is the lovely rocket being made by Blue origin. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get here. And it's going to be a pretty short video here today as it is only two singular parts that we do get with this mod. And I do actually need to point out one small detail here before we move forward. Now, despite the fact that this is a very new mod being released just this past Saturday, it was made and tested using a very old version of the game. It was 1.4.2, and we're now up to 1.7.3. But thankfully, it is a parts mod, so parts tend to be compatible into future versions. And this one is working perfectly fine. I've had no issues with it, except for one singular minor glitch, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but honestly, it doesn't affect the usability of it, at least in my mind. So let's take a look at the first part here, which is, of course, the New Shepherd pod. And it is a very good looking thing, looking indeed like the New Shepherd command pod there with the just massive large windows, and thankfully, an interior view so you can gaze out of those windows through the eyes of your Kerbals, which is always entertaining, and it is a very nice internal view. I think, honestly, it's probably my favorite part about the whole mod. Now, as for the stats on this thing, it is a command pod with a minimum of one crew member to operate and a max capacity of a six. It does also have a built-in decoupler, an engine producing 320 max kilonewtons of thrust with liquid fuel and oxidizer. Also does have a built-in reaction wheel, 200 electric charge, and small tanks for liquid fuel and oxidizer was 16 on the liquid fuel and 19.4 on the oxidizer. All in all, though, a very good command pod. And then the second and final part we have here is the main body of the new Shepard rocket. And if we pop that baby on, it is very good looking. And of course, matches quite nicely with all the images I've personally seen of the new Shepard rocket. And it is a pretty cool there. I do very much enjoy it. Now, as for the stats on this thing, it is an unmanned command pod. And its engine will produce 561 kilonewtons of thrust using liquid fuel and oxidizer. It does, of course, also have its own reaction wheel, 200 electric charge, but a lot more fuel this time with 2,250 liquid fuel and 2,750 on the oxidizer. And all in all, it just looks wonderful. And of course, does have a functioning uh, speed brakes that we have up at the top, as well as deployable landing legs, which you can see down here, which work pretty darn well. So let's actually go out into the world now and have a look at this thing in use and talk about that one minor glitch so you guys are aware of it. So let's grab this new Shepard craft I popped onto the launch pad earlier and have a look at what we've got. Now, first, let's go take a look at the beautiful interior of this thing. So let's jump through Jebediah's eyes there. And as you can see, a very nice internal view here with all of the Kerbals lounging back and with a good view out of one of their own personal windows. And oh man, imagine actually flying up into space in one of these things at some point in the future. It would just be amazing to have that big of a window. But all in all, a very, very cool interior. Whoops, did not mean to exit out. Meant to go to the eyes of the next Kerbal. Which, I mean, basically you get the same exact view through all of their eyes. Since, I mean, it's just a big circle of lounging chairs here. But a very good nonetheless. Alright, so now we go back outside to take a look at the rocket. And one thing you may notice, my uh, speed brakes there are uh, already kind of deployed partially. And and that will happen whenever you come into the game from the uh, vehicle assembly building. Even if you had them fully closed, they'll start 
partway open in their animation. It doesn't actually seem to do the breaking, but uh, at least visually, you'll want to, you know, deploy them real quick and then retract them just to get that sleek look once more. Doesn't really break anything functionally, but just a slight little annoyance. The big thing that I actually do consider a glitch is with the landing legs. Now, we can deploy the landing legs just fine, but you may have just noticed something. The speed brakes deployed. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, isn't really that big of an issue considering when you're using the legs, you're probably also going to be using those. But here's the interesting thing that I found, that if you then uh, try and reach or uh, to, to actually deploy the speed brakes, because again, it just seems to be a visual error, if we then deploy them, the landing legs retract, and they actually do physically retract. It's not just a visual glitch. Those landing legs are now gone, and I figured this out when I had uh, originally launched this craft with the landing legs out, and I went, oh, hey, my speed brakes seem to be out, so let's retract those. And when I did, the whole craft just toppled over because, well, there were no longer any landing legs to support it, which was interesting but again i don't actually see that as a big functional issue because in the real world at least in the videos i've seen of the new shepherd it launches from like an actual platform with things like our uh, stability enhancers here it only uses the legs when it's coming down for a landing and if you're doing that i mean you do deploy your speed brakes first that works just fine then you retract your legs and uh, that works just fine once we actually deploy them there there they go and all that's perfectly okay. It just comes to the when you wanna retract those speed brakes, there go the legs. So a minor thing, honestly, that I really don't see as an issue in how, at least personally, I would be using this rocket. But let's actually fire it up and actually retract the legs there, even though they technically are already retracted. And then launch this baby in three, two, one, fire. And with its large amount of fuel and the engine on here, this thing can pretty easily get into an orbit. Now, if you are using the real solar system mod, there is a real fuel, uh, real fuel switch uh, version of the mod that you can get. It's all in one singular download, and then you choose whether you need the real fuel version or the non-real fuel, fuel version to actually go into your game data folder. So it is nice that it does have that compatibility, but all in all, you know, it's uh, a pretty good little rocket. If we do throttle down there, and of course a launch that, we can then fire off our other little engine for a short amount of time. And there we are. And goodbye to the rest of the new Shepard rocket down there. It is gonna blow up something horribly. But yes, uh, this is the new Shepard rocket. Overall, a pretty cool and I think solid rocket to play around with, with a beautiful interior view here. Uh, just with that one minor glitch with the landing legs, but overall I still think a good addition to the game. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you you for watching, and as always, have a good one!